Let's talk about mascara and curling our lashes. It is still shocking to me that women don't, not all women curl their lashes because it really makes such a big difference. I want to start by telling you a really funny story. I think you'll get a kick out of it. I still get a kick out of it. So I was dating this guy and he uh, unexpectedly showed up my house and he buzzed me when he was downstairs to tell me he was here. And um, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not dressed. Let me at least put some concealer and like curl my lashes so I can at least look like bright eyed. So I ran into the bathroom, I grabbed my eyelash curler, I leaned my elbow on the sink and went to curl my lashes. My elbow slipped and I ripped all of my lashes out. I, I was mortified. I was like, oh, where is a lash strip? Where is a lash strip? I glued, a, I probably looked like nuts. So that's my like really eyelash curling job gone really, really bad. But it's not gonna go like that because we're gonna take the time and I'm gonna show you what I do and I think it really does make a huge difference. So first of all, an eyelash curler. There's two that I specifically like. Um, I think this is kind of where you might wanna spend a little more money. Uh, there's a brand called Shu Amura. They have a great lash curler and this one is by the late makeup artist Kevin O'Quan. Um, He's actually from Louisiana, where I'm from. So I, these are my two favorite curlers. I normally keep one in my purse and I keep one in my makeup bag. So you wanna make sure that your eyelash curler is really, really clean, okay? So this is really clean. So I am going to um, go sort of close to the root. I'm gonna get them all in and I'm sort of close my eye a little bit and then I'm just gonna gently tap. So the key when you're doing it, don't push down like so hard because it is, this is a sharp blade and you could pull out your, your lashes. Um, so again, I, I, I kind of get close, not too close to the edge and I just sort of tap. So when I'm done tapping, I want to immediately go to my lashes because it doesn't stay like this for that long. It'll start to um, sort of straighten up again. So there's two mascaras that I really, really like right now. And the reason I like them is because I noticed, I don't know, about two years ago, whatever mascara I was using was sort of bleeding at the bottom of my eye. I don't know, just because I've been getting older, my skin's changing, if I was using a heavier eye cream. Um, but I found that this CoverGirl Lash Blast, Lash Blast Fusion really, really worked well. And this is a, a very black, Arthre Noir. Um, so I really like this one. And then I recently went to um, an all organic beauty store called Roots in Laguna Beach and I was introduced to this brand, Ilia. And this is actually my favorite right now. It has the most insanely insane brush that really just lengthens the lashes. So they're still curled. Um, so I'm gonna go in with the mascara and I am going to start in at the root and then I'm just gonna sort of zigzag all the way to the tips. So I'm gonna pull these guys out. So you want the ones at the end, these lashes at the end, you wanna sort of pull them out because it'll give you that like cat eye look. So again, I'm gonna go here I'm gonna go in, then switch. And then I might like pull the mascara all the way to the end, but in order to really make a big difference, you have to go in at the root and do that little zigzag motion. And then you pull it through to make sure that they aren't, you know, tangled. So for daily, I will just do something like a few, a few swipes where it's really, really natural. I mean, look at the difference. These guys are like sticking straight down and look at this. I see, I'm looking at the girls behind the camera right now because none of them use an eyelash curler. I mean, that's crazy to me. Hopefully after today, today girls, you're gonna start using your eyelash curler. Um, so a huge, huge difference. And then again, the same with the bottom. I'm just gonna do that zigzag motion and I'm gonna pull down. If I'm doing it in the evening and I'm going out, I will definitely put more and sometimes I'll let it dry and if I see that um, I need another little boost, I'll take that curler, again, make sure it's super, super clean and just do a slight tap and then put one more coat of mascara. Um, and that really makes a difference. I'm gonna give you a really amazing tip too. 
if you really want them to get a, get them really nice and curly and really make them stay. Uh, if you take your eyelash curler and you take your blow dryer and you put a tiny bit of heat, not on this part, this silicone part here, but just sort of on the top, not too hot. Um, and again, you're going to do this at your own risk. I don't want to be responsible. So it's going to heat it up like a curling iron. So when you do it, it's going to, that curl is definitely going to stay. Um, so that is pretty much what I do. And you can see what a big difference it makes with an eye that has a curled eyelash and one that does not. So um, I hope this tip helps you guys. And also when I see you on the street, I definitely want to see your eyelashes curled and I want to see your beautiful, beautiful eyes. Um, and one other thing, you could also curl your lashes and not put mascara. If I'm doing a no makeup day, I'm running around with the kids, I'll always more than likely put a little bit of concealer because I do have dark circles. Uh, and I might just curl my lashes and not put any mascara and go. So um, there's, your, there's your eyelash tip.